Yeah, you know, there's been a lot of people vocal this year about the baseball. For, for, no matter no matter what what we're discussing, whether it be that the baseball is a little more dead than usual, whether it be pitchers complaining about the balls not being rubbed up and having mud on them. Um, but, you know, to this point in the year, I haven't yet talked about it on here. And and that's for a reason. You know, things have a funny way of of leveling. Water levels at the end of the day. So I was just kind of waiting to see, you know, where we ended up here. But it's fairly clear to this point that the baseballs have been different this year. And there are pitchers still complaining. And, and this conversation came about because the other night in Seattle, Michael Lorenzen of the Angels was pitching. And in a very scary situation, a fastball got away from him in Justin Upton's first game back, first game after being picked up by the Mariners. He's in the big leagues playing against his old team. And the first game, he gets hit in the head with a fastball. Hit in the head. After the game, Michael Lorenzen hit Justin Upton in the head with a pitch tonight. Afterward, he said the ball slipped out of his hand because the balls have not been rubbed up sufficiently. It was an issue for Ryan Tapera last night, too. So, yeah, the night before that, Ryan Tapera is on the mound. The umpire throws him out a baseball. He looks at it, throws it into the dugout. Umpire throws him another baseball. He looks at it, immediately throws it into the dugout. The umpire comes down. He's like, I don't know what you want me to do. And you could see Ryan Tapera saying, these balls aren't rubbed up. There's nothing on these baseballs. They're too slick. That's what we've been hearing around baseball for a while now, that the baseballs are dead and that the baseballs are too slick. I feel like the baseball's dead argument isn't as much anymore. I don't know what happened there. I don't know if they livened them up a little bit. But the baseball is slick conversation is still arising. Now, this comes from last year when they cracked down on substances being used. Pitchers were using substances, and, and it got out of hand when spider tack came involved. And, and that's the sort of stuff that kind of ruined this, by the way. At, at every level I've been at since college, you know, you play in college, I played professionally in the minor leagues. Every pitcher is using something to get a better grip on the ball, and that's completely okay, by the way. Hitters would actually prefer that. Like, don't let the ball slip out of your hands. Get a little better grip. That's fine. Then spider tack comes involved, and it really changes the way, changes spin rate, and it changes the stat cast era on pitches, and it, it really caused an issue that needed to be dealt with, and it was. But the way it was dealt with is no substances on baseballs ever. So there goes the pine tar and rosin. There goes the sunscreen and rosin. All that stuff is out the window. Here we are this year with nothing allowed, and pitchers are frustrated. Michael Lorenzen said that the other night. He was frustrated about the slick baseballs and made his comment that something needs to be done. There's There's been something going on. The baseballs are too slick. Chris Bassett earlier in the year said the MLB has a very big problem with the baseballs. They are bad, he said. Everyone knows it. Every pitcher in the league knows it. There is no common ground with the baseballs. There is nothing the same. Outing to outing, the baseballs are different. Kevin Gosman of the Blue Jays. My split definitely moves more sometimes and less others. I think that's because the balls are inconsistent. Some games I can really make it move, and other days it's a challenge. So you have pitchers that have all year been speaking out about this. Then there's hitters. On the hitter side, Patrick Wisdom said something is different because we can look at the metrics. We see how hard it's hit, then we see the ball get caught. It starts raising some eyebrows, raising some questions. So I'm obviously not on the inside. I don't know what's going on there. I think it's clear that something has happened this year, and I'm not sure why that hasn't been um, admitted to yet because it, it's obvious. You know, you look at the stat cast numbers. I remember earlier in the year, there were two back-to-back -back hitters that hit the exact same pitch, the exact same launch angle, and the exact same exit velocity, okay? Exactly the same. One was a home run 10 rows deep. The other got caught in front of the warning track. I, look, I'm no genius, but that says to me that there's something in inconsistent going on with the baseballs. So, uh, just had to bring this up. Michael Lorenzen very vocal about it over the weekend, and and that's just I've heard I've heard enough of it. You know, uh, I, I've heard enough of it. We're a couple months into the year. Pitchers are still talking about it. Hitters are talking about it. The stat casts and and the numbers behind things say that something is different. So look, I don't know what it is. Um, I just I, I wish something would come out and we could be more transparent about this so everybody could understand. And uh, at the end of the day, people just don't want to get hurt. That's the that's the ultimate goal here is you don't want guys to be pitching with a slick baseball and somebody get hit in the head 
And fortunately, Justin Upton ended up being okay. But it's really scary when stuff starts flying up around the head at 95, 100 miles an hour. You know, we're talking, we could be talking a, a serious injury. So uh, hopefully that gets fixed, but just had to bring that up as another storyline. Thanks for watching. If you love flipping bats, swinging 3 0, or just talking ball, join us. Call us at 213 537 9339 with your questions. We have a weekly guest and we have a lot of fun, so hit that subscribe button.